coffee is not black enough. And it's really disappointing me. It's because it's not cold brew. And I have way too high expectations because my cold brew has been spoiling me with their espresso. I need to clean out my car again. You ever have like a funky smell and you're like, what's that? That's what's going on right now. I internalize that because I know that's none of your business, but I'm making it your business now. I think it might be my air conditioner, I'm not sure. Good job. Have these eggs. They're farm eggs. So that means they're not injected with a bunch of poisonous stuff. that are overweight will like make the case of like oh I can't get used to eating healthy food I hear that a lot from people well that's because it's not injected with a bunch of shit and whenever it's not injected with a bunch of shit you're so used to consuming that but it's a really strange experience to not consume that. So. I know, I, I had to get used to real food too. And even the food that I consider to be real is still somewhat questionable, especially if it came from a store. Because there's no way to prove that it's real. Everybody is trained to just behave exactly the same as everybody else. 
you know, whether they're behaving that way to be successful, they're behaving that way to get a spouse, they're behaving that way to, to get a job or to get work successful, like you just said. Okay, various forms of success are through lying and conforming. And not knowing who the fuck you are and relying on really stupid people. Let's not say stupid, but people that don't have the best of intentions. Relying on those people to tell you where to go and what to be and how to think and everything. So, you know, I experienced that when I was in public school. But I smoked a lot of marijuana. And the marijuana... I'm not saying that it does this for everybody, but it definitely did this for me. Where it basically explained to me why I was unconventional and why being unconventional was correct. Look twice for motorcycles. Every time I see people on motorcycles, but especially when I see people on mopeds, it freaks me the hell out. This friend of mine lost his leg on a moped. Flew off his moped and hit a wall and his leg snapped in half. I know y'all didn't want to hear that, but I didn't want to hear it when he told me, so. If I had to do it, y'all have to do it, okay? <laughs> but anyway. Dude, it's so hot now. It's like ridiculously hot. temperature's gonna go up, it's gonna go down, it's gonna go up, it's gonna go down, it's just gonna be like the gas prices. Mm -hmm. But anyway. Yeah, so. You know, every everything's about uh, the internet now. You know, like it's not enough to You know, just have one social media handle. It's like, if you want to be successful, you gotta like have multiple social media handles, and you gotta post as much as possible. And I get that's how like people are making a living. And, you know, it's not that surprising or anything. It's just, it's just annoying. You know, I'm allowed to be annoyed. Damn it, I'm allowed to be annoyed. Because it's like, yeah, people just, they're so obsessed with, like, this whole status of, like, this is who I am on the internet, you know, like, this is, this is what I believe, and these are the things that I don't like, and here's another picture of my cat, and here's another picture of my macaroni and cheese, and, you know, like, but, like, this aspect of the culture was already, like, prevalent in the beginning. And it was so silly. And I remember, like, it being so easy to make fun of, like, in the beginning. And now, it's, like, everywhere. Like, nobody can make fun of it because it's so... It's so much of a thing now. So it's, it's like, I get that my jokes, they're like stale now. They're stale. Because everybody has a smartphone and they have a little fucking thing of a jig in their ear that connects to their phone and they have a watch that connects to their phone. And it's like, why are y'all worried about Neuralink? Like, y'all already have that shit. But, Yeah, it's like they're, they're worried about something that connects to their brain. It's like they don't realize that all the, the objects in their hands connect to their brain. I mean, there's no use in explaining it because if they, if they don't get it now, they're never going to get it.